Hello, hi, my name is Roger Hesp. I'm the director of the movie Gold. Uh, and in the next video, I will try to answer your questions, starting with question number one. Well, the original idea started almost five years ago when I read an article uh, in the newspaper about an, uh, about an athlete who was uh, murdered by his own father. Um, and it was a really, really tragic story about a guy um, who could never live up to uh, the wishes of his uh, or the dreams of his father. And from that point on, I, uh, I did more research and I came to the realization that there are a lot of relationships between parents uh, and young athletes are uh, very destructive. Um, so I really wanted to do something with that with that subject, uh, a story about a small a small story about a relationship to, to, between a father and a child uh, against the background of of uh, competitive sports, and I also found out that most of the time we as an audience only hear the winner stories so we hear when somebody wins gold we then hear he trained for years and years and years and it was eventually all worth it and this is exactly also the thing we see in most of the films we always see the underdog story and then eventually our hero is crying in the end on stage really glad that he has the the golden medal that he has overcome everything and yeah, we, we end with an, some sort of happy feeling, but this is not reality. And I really wanted to show a realistic story about the downsides of competitive sports and that it's really tough. And it's uh, and probably most athletes will have a story similar like this one than the stories we know in more mainstream movies where our hero wins the golden medal. Um, it's a very, very tight relationship with a lot of love, but also suffocation. Um, and it's also not a very healthy relationship. The, the problem is they don't have anybody else. There's not a mother, there's, there's no warmth in their household. So we just see two men who are almost strangled with each other especially because Timo takes care of his father so that's also not very healthy if you're like a teenager so all he wants to do is take care of his father and please him um, and that's exactly what the father wants him to do he wants him to become successful so his own ego gets a boost every time he wins gold so in some sort of way he his life gets purpose because his son is is successful in his in his dream it's it's actually he timo is living his father's dream so that's that that's the the relationship that he should uh, overcome and break out of I also had a realization that most of the time sports movies, if you can call it like that, are not very, um, well, you call, like, if you have like soccer or tennis, then you have to show the whole game, you know, and sometimes that's a little bit boring from my point of view. So I, I didn't really want the sports where you have to show a whole match or part of the match or uh, for me, it wasn't really about about that he should win or not. So I wanted something that was more visual. And of course, gymnastics is very visual. Um, and I also wanted the sports where somebody's on his own. So not a team sport. He should be just by himself um, because that, that makes the drama, from my point of view, much, much uh, bigger. Uh, the fun thing is that um, we wanted gymnastics because it's quite popular in the Netherlands. We, of course, have Epke Zonderland, who is the number one in the world. So, but there wasn't, I never saw a movie about male gymnastics. Uh, and I also was very intrigued by the physical aspect. These kids are, um, most of the time, at a very young age, already very 
mas muscular, uh, which also makes them look more uh, grown up or more adult. But inside, they're still kids, especially if they have been training for all of their life. They're 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 not really a, a teenager yet because they're not going out. They're just they look very strong, but from the inside, most of the time, they're not gro uh, grown or and pre-adult, uh, as we can say. Well, in the beginning we thought, is it maybe possible to find an actor, make him, let's say, exercise for six months, and then maybe do something with stunt double. But all the, 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 the real gymnastics I spoke to, uh, during my uh, during my interviews with them as a research for this movie, they all said it's it's impossible. Most of these guys are training from four, oh, I say five five years old, and when they're like seventeen or eighteen, they have already like twelve years of exercise. It's such a difficult uh, sports to learn um, that we immediately said like, well, then we just have to choose a real gymnastics and let's try to make him uh, make him act and work with an acting coach and maybe mold him more into an actor so we turn it the other way around so we did a, a, a casting audition on several uh, gymnastics schools uh, there were like I think 20, 20 kids very diverse in age some of them were 13 some of them were 20 and eventually i saw david and for me he had the perfect balance of um still able to do gymnastics on a very high level uh, look very muscular but still very boyish he has a very childish face and also um What's really important, uh, like you can immediately feel he had to sort some sort of melancholy uh, hanging around him, uh, that something is happening inside of him uh, while just sitting there or doing his exercise. So I was really, really, really pleased finding him because that was, uh, of course, very tricky finding a gymnastic that can also act. But uh, I think he totally, uh, I think he totally nailed it. Well, some, it's funny, a, a reporter of a newspaper asked me the same thing. Do you see any similarities? And I think what I uh, noticed about David is that he was very focused. As a, as a gymnastic, you have to be um, really focused before doing your exercise. And what they do is they visualize the exercise in their head, closing their eyes, think about how the movement is, and then when they get the green light, they go and immediately do it. Um, what really helped is he had, he had the same focus before shooting a scene. So he really took a moment for himself, visualized it, and then he went for it. And also a plus is that he can do it like 11 times, 12 times, because he was so used to doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over. That he was never complaining about it. Um, so I think the focus, the... Um, the mental pressure also of shooting a movie uh, really helped him as uh, as 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 an actor, um, and I think f for director it ha you have to have the same same things. I think it's also very a, a story about f being focused, really know <clears throat> what you want to visualize, what's in your head, really try to communicate communicate that with your crew and also I think a very important thing is 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 endurance uh, making a movie takes a lot of time this movie almost took for like from writing almost like four years and you just have to keep on going and going and going and going and going and believing that someday you will have that film that product um, as long as you keep on going and I think that's that's the the biggest thing that bonds the two of us.